Okay, so my brows are done. The magic has happened off camera. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I hardly ever grab for this palette, guys. Such a beauty. So I'm going to go in with the shade Saturn. Because I only just want a simple transition shade. Something that can mute out this dark eyelid that I have going on here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in with that brush that comes in the palette and yeah I think I might have to switch because this just seems like it's not going anywhere so I'm gonna switch over to my Morphe M330 brush and this is more of a better better blended brush as you guys can see here so I didn't want anything that was gonna be too intense because I'm just going for a subtle eye look and I'm just blending that out this palette is so pigmented but guys you guys know that hands down the favorite palette for me by Anastasia will be the soft glam then the modern renaissance then this one I just hope that she comes out what's her name Marvina I just hope that she comes out with a new palette because yeah the soft glam was a comeback from the crappy ass one. Can I remember that crappy ass one that she had before? But I'm telling you guys, excuse the music. That's me listening to my gospel music to get myself in the Sunday vibe. I think I might do a video on my channel with, you know, a book that I've been reading just to share with you guys. Okay, I think I've been blending like forever right now. Okay. So now that that is finished blended, what I'm going to go in with is the, what's it called, the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Trophy Wife. You guys know Trophy Wife, right? That famous one. And I'm just going to do like this messy look over this. It's just something simple, guys. Just really simple. It's nothing really hard. You know that I'm always sharing with you guys the simple looks. I don't know. Whenever I try to my eyes it's always watering like oh like that gets on my nerves does it happen to you guys as well like that just annoys me so I'm just doing this messy eyeshadow look on the lid nothing too fancy then I did however notice that the palette I was holding the TARDIS contour palette that makeup shadow did her collab with with Tarte I hardly ever do use that palette but I did notice just now that I can go in and use the shade 3 the contour shade 3 and 4 just to darken my outer part of my eye so let's see how that works and I'm using the same brush that I used to make the all over transition color guys these summer easy looks are like freaking amazing and this is gonna be a look with no lashes because I am so on my way out of here this is just something very quick and easy so you guys can see I'm just working the brush into my inner crease just to warm it up a bit guys this is like the messiest and quickest look I've ever done because we're going for that natural glow summer look just you on the go and you're out the door so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my mascara which of a fact I think I might use the same brush that I used to apply the trophy wise and just blend it under my eyes guys I don't know why my eyes are so freaking watery I have not used this palette in so long. I'm so surprised I didn't return it to Sephora when I purchased it like a year and a half ago. Because to be honest, the only two colors I use in there is the contour shade. I love makeup shade and I think that's why I did went ahead and purchase it. But yeah, supporting a black girl. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish this look. So I'm going to go in with my powder. You guys know that my face powder never changes it's the makeup forever dual matte in the shade 218 
this is what makes all the magic come to life and this is just what I use so I did go off camera guys I wanted to incorporate this video into one but it's gonna be a bit too long and I have this stigma about making my videos not long so yeah so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna contour my cheeks and I'm be using this brush from my what's it called my shiny makeup brush collection that brush set that I did a review on back in was it December or January whichever when I started doing my videos on YouTube so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that and just contour my cheeks you guys know how much I love this contour palette right like this bronzer is like freaking life and like looking at it you would not even think that that it would match like deeper complexions but it does it freaking does the one thing that i can skip in my makeup routine will be blush i don't know i just don't grab for blush i just don't So I think I'm somehow done right here so I'm gonna go now and I'll be spritzing my face with my Mario Badescu spray just to set that in then I'm going in and I'll be using my you guys already know what highlight I'm gonna be using you already know it's gonna be the opal like uh, I think I need a break but hey Okay, so I'm spritzing my face and I'm just letting that simmer down and dry for a set before I apply the okay so now that that is almost done I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm just pouncing that on the higher point of my cheekbone I don't want to overdo it today because I'm just looking for a natural glow something that's just giving me that natural blushed look This is definitely summer vibes. Look at that, it's like I'm naturally glowing. Oh yeah. I am naturally glowing, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna use it up here. It's almost like an exclamation mark and then what point on my nose. And I'm using some on my cubics bow. Still haven't decided what foundation, what lipstick I'm gonna be wearing as yet. So I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna be applying my mascara. The mascara I'm wearing is the Monsieur Big Lash Mascara by Lancome. I don't know if I just pronounced that right or if I just butchered it. So this is just that on the go vibes, girls and guys. This actually does volumize your lashes and if you want it to look a bit more intense then you can go ahead and use a liner and just line your eyes but you guys know I'm not a pro with doing that that's one step that I always leave out in my makeup routine so yeah yeah okay guys so for my lips I'm gonna be using my MAC chestnut lip liner and are we just lining my lips? Just the outer perimeter. So this is just a simple look of how I do my eyes, nothing too biggy diggy. 
just something to get me on the go I did not apply any lashes and I think I did an okay job even though I'm tempted to put my lashes on but like I said before it's just a simple function I'm going to so there's no need for all that drama so yeah I hope that you guys love this video and please do not subs do not forget to like subscribe and share my video and I will see you in the next one